The play is called Stones in His Pockets, and I am the director. I read the play, and I read it again several times, and the more I read it, the more the humor really jumped out at me, and also um, the fact that it really, there really is a message in the play, um, and it's, it's, um, it kind of turns around. I won't give it away, but uh, it's a very good play. It's very well written. Well, this play involves uh, an American film crew that comes to County Kerry in Ireland and uh, films, uh, start, you know, films the movie and involves a lot of the townspeople, particularly a couple of extras, Jake and Charlie. They actually meet on the set and you learn a little bit about their lives and uh, what life in, in County Kerry is, is like. I'm Tom Handel, I play Charlie Conlon in this. The people from Hollywood are extreme high livers, high rollers, and they sort of, you know, are portrayed as people who are used to walking over other people. And meanwhile, you have all these other people who, although they live ordinary lives, they have extraordinary dreams when Hollywood comes to town and they want to be uh, famous and they want to make lots of money and they and those two things come right into conflict and and it's it's very interesting how the playwright combines humor with the real situation of being having dreams and uh, and trying to fight your way through that that corporate uh, that corporate maze. I'm Joe Lugash um, and my main role is Jake, uh, who's one of the extras in the uh, cast and lives in the town and then I play six other roles um, I play you know one of the film producing members um, an old man who's the last surviving extra from the quiet man it's uh, it's very funny for one thing it's a great comedy it's very very well written and uh, something about it that's really unusual is that there are only two actors playing all 15 parts and uh, the storytelling in it is quite remarkable. So I think it's a real night of entertainment to come out and see this play. I think it's interesting having to uh, switch sometimes in the same scene, talking from one character I'm playing to another character I'm playing. Um, mostly because, yes, I, I do have to not only keep track of the accents and how they change, but I have to make sure they don't sort of fold on top of each other. And I also, you know, it's, it's also a challenge to try to just quickly have that different thought process going on. Outsiders, that's a bloody circus. There she is, look. <laughs> Me, Charlie Conlon, only 10 feet away from Caroline Giovanni. As an actor, what's most intriguing about this show is to play all the different characters and there's not really any time for costume changes between some of the lines. You have to go from one line to the next and sometimes play three different characters right in a row. And there is a difference in accents if I'm Scottish or Irish or American. But um, it really is not just the voice, but the body and the gestures and really being somebody else. You know what to do? <laughs> he'll have his wife go into the kitchen and make her a sandwich. And then when the new restaurant opens, it'll have a sign that says, Caroline Giovanni down here. Look, look, there she goes. They're heading off to the kitchen. I think that people are just going to enjoy seeing something that's so, so different from anything they see around here. You know, I mean, from, you know, not a musical, but not, a, not an intense dramatic piece, you know, but, but sort of a dramatic comedy that, that defies the, the standards of theater. And I think that, that, that will be interesting to people. I would run out and see this play if I heard that it was being produced, now that I know about it, just because of the spectacle of seeing two people put all that energy and um, knowing how funny it is and knowing how, uh, how meaningful it is and seeing you know, these, the, the actors you know, rise to that occasion. I, I think that that's something that's got to be a spectacle no matter what. <laughs> the play is being performed in Damrascata in the Porter Meeting Hall of the Skadonfa Library. It opens July 15th and runs that Friday, Saturday and Sunday and then the following weekend. 
as well. There are two matinees on Sunday. And if you're interested in seeing it, you can call for reservations because seating in the meeting house is limited. Uh, so you call 563-8116 and you can leave your name and make your reservations. We've already had several people make reservations and we're three weeks away from opening night, so that's pretty good.